Hello, and welcome to another short video on weird dungeon details. And in this one, you're lucky enough to be treated to me yet again, greatly overthinking the most minute of details. Being completely honest, what I'm about to go over is probably nothing, but I haven't seen anyone else talk about this, so I thought it deserved at least a small video discussing it. So without further ado... On Steam, certain badges can be obtained via completing a set of trading cards. These badges are displayed on a user's profile. While I'm not extremely familiar with the nature of Steam trading cards, Enter the Gungeon does have its own set, as you've doubtless noticed if you've played the Steam version for any length of time. This leads to Enter the Gungeon also having its own set of badges, and it's one of these badges that I'm going to talk about here. This foil badge is particularly interesting, because not only does it depict an enemy or entity never seen in the game, a glowing golden shotgun kin with what appears to be an empty slug, but the badge itself is also called Lead God. What makes this particularly interesting is that all the other badges for the game depict entities that are established as existing in the game's universe. Bulletkin, Blankkin, Ashen Bulletkin, and a Jammed Bulletkin. Even this odd-looking kin is supposedly a hollow point, and despite it looking very different to its appearance in the game, it's at least based off of something. But unless you can tell me otherwise, this fellow is nowhere to be found. The names of the badges, as you've probably realized, are simple descriptions of what the badge depicts. Bulletkin, Ashen Bulletkin, etc. This would imply to me that the name of this golden shotgun kin is the Lead God. As you're doubtless aware, the name Lead God and Gungeon is most associated with the achievement that the player unlocks upon obtaining all five master rounds in a single run. The icon for this achievement depicts a bearded old man holding two large bullets, presumably master rounds. Most characters depicted in achievement icons are either easily recognizable as characters from the game or are simplistic representations of humans, which is what makes the detail on this man interesting. I don't know whether he's supposed to represent the player, the lich, the lead god, or some other entity entirely, or whether he means a nothing at all. I don't know whether the achievement is named after the badge, or the badge is named after the achievement, or whether it's some wild coincidence. The lead god probably isn't even canon to Gungeon, let's be honest. But I find him fascinating nonetheless. So yeah, I told you the video was short, there's not really much more I can say without wasting your time. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya!